Thanks for tuning in, sending good vibes my way. Whether you're new to the channel or already subscribed, we'll get straight down to business. Here are the top 10 things I recommend to get down in Population 1 to make your gameplay a little smoother, more rewarding, and overall just better. If you find any of these helpful, drop a comment, consider subscribing, and tap that notification bell if you do. If you want to get good at most any game, the point is to get right into the action. VR is no different, and if anything, it might be a little bit more literal to the whole muscle memory thing. Therefore, the quicker you get into the game, the better in my opinion. Once you're confident and an average or above average player, then start dropping in pods to get geared, knowing more confidently that you'll actually be able to close the game. Most times, the better team in the lobby is who will be left at the end. So there's no point in gearing up to fight if you're brand new without really knowing how to fight in the first place. This is such a huge thing in this game and I cannot stress it enough. Communication is key in most any shooter, but in VR it can be extra frustrating when every headset ever built has come with some sort of microphone. Being able to chat allows you to not only share key information in tense situations, but also allows you to call out enemy positions when you're downed. It ups the odds of your teammates coming out on top and you getting revived. Enough said. Always, always maintain high ground as much as possible throughout the game and try not to get caught out in the open. Climbing in this game is not just for show. It's going to get you around like nothing will. However, I do see quite a few people putting too much effort into it. Don't grab with such intent and become a robot. Rather, flick yourself upwards without stopping the motion, letting go of the grip while in motion. These flicks will get you where you need to go much quicker. With no in-game sprint, the glide is the sprint, so make sure to flick yourself off of nearby surfaces if you're on low ground to gain ground faster. Pretty straightforward. I see too many people not utilizing this essential feature and before they know it, they're gone. You don't have to and I wouldn't recommend trying to build a fortress, but just some simple cover will do the trick. Allowing you to take shots off the wall and not allowing the enemy to know which direction you're going to pop out from next will greatly increase your odds out in the open. The people who really give you trouble are the ones who can always stay in the fight while maintaining that cover. There's almost nothing more clutch than a full backpack space, your two favorite weapons, and a ton of grenades and bananas. Grenades are good for taking on squads alone, being able to really pounce on enemies and deal that first blow before finishing up or even finish up after dealing some damage when you can't get close enough. Having the ability to heal on the fly is always a sure way to stay in the game as well. I cannot count how many times I've seen somebody rubbing paddles together like they're trying to start a fire. You want to make circular motions about medium in size and mid speed as well. Don't stand still when firing in almost any situation. You want to learn how to counteract your movement with that of your hand and the quicker you do that the better. Staying stationary for more than just a few seconds with a good sniper on the other side is a sure way to receive a headbanger. I've seen a lot of people who will one hand any weapon, anytime, all the time. If you're doing this and you're wondering why you're not that consistent, grab it with the other hand. This even tightens the shot pattern for the shotguns. And last but not least, before I actually thought to do a top 10, last week I produced a number one tip on this topic right here. Don't want to be repetitive, so I'll leave it right here for you to click on if that is something you want to check out. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for all the love. Peace out.